My name is Lara Warmelink and I'm a lecturer at Lancaster University and I'm also a Crest associate. And for Crest, the main thing I do is that I supervise Irina Takie, whose video you can see elsewhere on this website. But my own research is about detecting lies about intentions. So I'm interested in finding out whether we can detect when people are lying about the things that they're going to do. And I think you can understand that that has real applied value in the field. If we could detect when people are lying at, for example, border control, or when people are lying because they have an intention that is criminal and are trying to hide that, that would be a real benefit. However, doing that is really quite a difficult thing to do. We already know from a lot of research that detecting lies about past events is really, really difficult. And detecting lies about future events is even harder. And that's mostly because when people tell the truth about a past event, they've got a lot of memory that they can rely on and use to tell their story. But when people are telling the truth about what they're planning to do, because there is so much uncertainty about what's going to happen in the future, it's more difficult for them to tell a good, convincing, true story. And that makes it easier for liars to tell a story that's really similar to truth tellers. However, there are some things that we can do to detect the difference between truth tellers and liars. For example, when we interview people, we can look at asking people unexpected questions, questions that they hadn't really thought of before. And because of that, liars can't really prepare for those types of questions. And that means they have to make something up on the spot, and that's really difficult for them. Another thing that I do is I look at whether we can detect uh, deception about intentions via reaction time tasks. So in that case, it's not about what people are saying, it's how fast they can respond to the computer. If you'd like to know more about my research, you can look at the Crest website.